watching the CFU News Weekly video brought to you by the Association of Genuine Alaska Pollock Producers' fourth annual meeting, taking place in Seattle on October 17, 2022. The meeting will bring together representatives from all segments of the wild Alaska pollock industry, marketing experts, and visionary speakers designed to challenge the status quo and inspire collaboration for tackling future industry challenges. Topics will include economic updates, consumer research and trends, the results from the new gap always on while Alaska Pollock Awareness and Demand Campaign, and much more. For more information and to register for the meeting, please visit alaskapollock.org. Don't miss out. I'm CP News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle, and today I'm breaking down the top three red stories of the week. First up, the Maine Lobster Fishery Marine Stewardship Council's certification is currently under an expedited audit. MSC certifications are good for five years, but once a fishery is certified, it is a requirement of the certification that it's audited once a year. However, new information comes up that relates to one of the aspects that the certification assessment is scored on, then that could trigger an expedited audit. MSC America's director, Erica Feller, told CFA News that the Maine Lobster Fishery is currently undergoing an expedited audit as a result of the July 8th court decision that found fisheries officials did not do enough to protect endangered North Atlantic right whales from lobster gear. Next up, this year's Bristol Bay salmon season was not only the largest run on record, but by a wide margin. The return of 79 million salmon was 81% above the 43.6 million average run for the la latest 20-year period. It was only the fourth time on record that the Bristol Bay inshore sockeye salmon run has exceeded 60 million fish. Alaska's Department of Fish and Game released a preliminary report on the season late last week, with a final to follow in November. The 2022 Bristol Bay sockeye salmon run exceeded the preseason inshore forecast of 73.4 million fish by 8%. And finally, the New England Fishery Management Council is not moving forward with the development of a scallop license allocation leasing program for a limited access fishery. Scallop allocation leasing would have allowed a boat owner to sell days and tonnage from a fishing license to another vessel owner to harvest in restricted zones. The topic has been up for debate for months before it was ultimately discussed on Tuesday at the September Council meeting in Gloucester. Prior to the meeting, the Council said that of the 286 commenters who spoke out during the three-month-long scoping process, 78% were against the proposed allocation leasing project. One of the fears expressed was that the license allocation would potentially result in consolidation of fishing fleets. Subscribe to our channel below and don't forget to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. You can also listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching.